San Francisco first responders inoculated a portion of a neighborhood struggling to gain access to the coronavirus vaccine. KTVU's James Torres shows us the first people on Treasure Island to receive a COVID-19 shot. Getting a vaccine is not as easy as walking out your door and receiving a shot. Oh God, it was so easy. It was one, two, three. Except today in Treasure Island, it was that easy. This is the only site the only clinic on this entire island. More than 150 shots of Moderna given to residents of this small neighborhood, a neighborhood where vaccines have only reached less than a percent of its population. I was a little nervous, but I think everybody is, you know. I was a little nervous. I didn't, I didn't know what side effects I might get, but I feel fine. It doesn't hurt, nothing. Supply for today's shots set aside exclusively for this community by the San Francisco Department of Public Health. Firefighters, EMTs administered each one and booked a second appointment for every resident. It's very satisfying because you don't know if um, what people have heard about the vaccine and if they're willing to take it. And when people show up in mass, it shows us that we're on the right track. City Supervisor Matt Haney says barriers like access to internet or transportation can prevent many eligible people from getting a vaccine. That might even be more difficult when the vaccine doors open to every adult in the next three weeks. Especially with the expanded eligibility and the further expansion that's on the way, we need sites that are low barrier, drop in, in the neighborhoods that are high need. Drop in sites on Treasure Island will continue for at least the next three Saturdays with a population of about 3,000 people, an effort of 150 shots each weekend. City leaders believe vaccinating this neighborhood can be easily done. You should get it. It's, it's worth it. Your life's worth it. I'm James Torres, KTVU, Fox 2 News.